Sam, good morning. Welcome. Good morning, Dan. Thanks for having me on. Yep. So uh, let's cover a little bit of COVID news. Well, in this case, it's actually just Dr. Fauci news, who has become the face of COVID-19. He's been making the rounds on network news over the weekend and making quite a few claims about what to expect for the future of COVID-19. I'd just like to play a couple clips for your audience, and they can judge for themselves what they think about what Dr. Fauci has to say. During an interview on NBC's Meet the Press, Dr. Fauci told Chuck Todd that it's Quite possible mask wearing will become a seasonal practice among Americans for some time. So let's listen to that. So it is conceivable that as we go on a year or two or more from now, that during certain seasonal periods, mm -hmm. when you have respiratory borne viruses like the flu, people might actually elect to wear masks to diminish the likelihood that you'll spread these respiratory borne diseases. So, so there's that one. He thinks that uh, masking is never going to go away. Even if we overcome COVID-19, people might still elect to wear it for the flu. I'm just not sure. I believe in that interview as well, Chuck Todd asked him, when can we not wear masks outside? No one has ever been wearing masks outside unless you live in New York and California, which is, I'm assuming, where Chuck Todd only ever visits and where Fauci only ever visits. In another interview, Dr. Fauci appeared on ABC's This Week, where George Stephanopoulos, uh, with George Stephanopoulos, excuse me, and he said, we'll be about as close as back to normal as we can by Mother's Day of next year. So let's listen to that. Well, George, I hope that next Mother's Day we're going to see a, a dramatic difference than what we're seeing right now. I believe that we will be about as close to back to normal as we can. And there's, there's some conditions to that, George. We've got to make sure that we get the overwhelming proportion of the population vaccinated. So the timelines just keep pushing out for when things can be back to normal and the masking just keeps getting pushed out as well. And he wonders why people criticize him. So it's just an interesting take. I have an article about that up on FISM News. I don't provide too much commentary in it. I just provide you the videos so you can watch them. I do encourage you to watch them um, just to see what people in places like California and New York are listening to for their medical information. In more coronavirus news, the state of Connecticut has made major strides in the vaccine front and they became the first state over the weekend to vaccinate more than 70% of its adult population. Uh, vaccinating as in receiving at least one dose of vaccine, not necessarily both doses of Moderna or Pfizer. And this is Two months ahead of President Joe Biden's goal of having 70 percent of adults in the U.S. receive one shot by July 4th. As of Sunday, May 9th, according to the CDC, Vermont, Massachusetts and Hawaii have also surpassed that 70 percent threshold with other states being pretty close as well. So far, about 45.8 percent of Americans have received at least one dose of vaccine. Uh, I know that health officials are concerned about people who are hesitant of the vaccine or skeptical of it. And for some reason, they have it in their mind that the reason the way that they're going to overcome that skepticism is just by telling you that it's safe with different speakers by having pastors or celebrities tell you that it's safe. When I think what the American people would much more appreciate is just an honest conversation about side effects and risk analysis for different age groups. Uh, but that doesn't look like what they're going to do. Visit FISM.TV news for more content.